Hi guys, I'm Lauren Vitali. On this episode of Lauren in the Kitchen, I want to show you how to make a crock pot hot chocolate. Now, I do have a traditional recipe, a, a, a recipe video here, Lauren in the Kitchen, making traditional hot chocolate. But I've been asked so many times recently if I could show you how to make a crock pot version because I know that a lot of you are like me and you're entertaining a lot. You've got a lot of people over um, quite often around this time of year. Let's face it, it's the holiday season. You've got one get together after another, and I love it. I mean, I think it's the, one of the best re, uh, best parts of the season for me anyway. And I wanted to share this recipe with you because it's so good. You can keep it, you know. In the crock pot on warm for hours it won't last that long but the point is it makes a big batch everyone loves it you know you can double up the recipe if you want to and it is absolutely addictive but it's really easy the ingredients you'll need are not very many you need some whole milk heavy cream semi sweet chocolate chips i also have a pinch of salt right here sweetened condensed milk and you need some evaporated milk that is it Everything pretty much goes into your crock pot. That's how easy this is. And it makes for literally the best hot chocolate in the world. And the best part about it, when you serve it, I would suggest doing like a little, like a little bar. You can do uh, marshmallows, of course. You can do cinnamon sticks, peppermint sticks that people can stir their hot chocolate with. And then that flavor will infuse throughout the hot chocolate. Or if you're having an adult only party, you can also serve some Kahlua alongside, Frangelico, Amaretto, add a little bit of that into your hot chocolate. It really just kicks things up so many notches. It's fabulous. So, get everything going in, splashing everywhere, why don't you? Sweet condensed milk is an absolute must here, so you cannot leave the stuff out. I love sweet condensed milk. I mean, I like to say that I've got pretty good self-control in life, but I really don't when it comes to sweet condensed milk. That's why I don't like to keep it all around very often. And then you need some evaporated milk. That is it. You add everything in. You give everything a really good stir and then you just cook this on low for about two hours. And then after two hours, you just switch it on to warm and it will be warm and wonderful and delicious for whenever people drop by. I'm going to pop this on. I'm going to give it an occasional stir every half an hour or so and then we'll serve some up. My hot chocolate was just simmering on low for two hours and I just gave it a whisk every half an hour or so and it smells amazing. It smells like hot chocolate and I love, like I'm the kind of person where it's like when I see something really big and full, it just seems abundant and makes me happy. So that's how I feel about this. It was like hot chocolate for the whole neighborhood. Well, yeah, I've got my mug here. Look how lovely this looks. Oh, it's rich. It's gorgeous. It's creamy. It's not too loose. This is the kind of hot chocolate I love. Normally I would use, um, believe it or not, I would use smaller mugs because it's quite, you know, hot chocolate can be quite rich, but since I'm serving myself, go big or go home. Am I right or am I right? And then of course I need some marshmallows in there. My dad throws so many marshmallows on his hot chocolate to the point where you can't actually see the hot chocolate. It's all marshmallows for a few layers and then eventually it, it gets the hot chocolate. It is so good. This really might be the best hot chocolate in the entire world. I'm not even joking. Mm. I know that sometimes people might think I'm exaggerating. Trust me on this one. Make this. You'll never make hot chocolate another way again. Ever. It's the best. It's easy. Feeds a crowd. You can make double batches of it if you want to. Go to LaraInTheKitchen.com for the written recipe. Cheers to you, mate, for a wonderful holiday season. I'll see you next time. Bye.